Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the arch of the aorta. The arch of the aorta is a continuation of the ascending aorta at the level of the right second costochondral joint, right second costochondral joint and it goes up and it is going posteriorly and it continues as the descending thoracic aorta the level of lower border of border of T4 thoracic vertebra. Right, second costochondral joint is also the same level, and this is the arch of the aorta. This part from here to here, arch of the aorta, and the arch of the aorta of the aorta is located. behind the lower half of the of the manubrium sterni manubrium sterni is the upper part of the sternum okay and the arch of the aorta is a content of the arch of the aorta the arch of the aorta is a content of the superior mediastinum Okay, the ascending aorta is a content of the middle mediastinum, arch of the aorta is a content of superior mediastinum. We got that ascending aorta is a content of middle mediastinum, arch of the aorta is a content of superior mediastinum. Okay, we got that. So it arches. It arches above posteriorly and to the left towards the lower border of the body of the fourth thoracic vertebra. Okay, so it crosses the bifurcation of the trachea, it crosses the bifurcation, bifurcation of the trachea passes behind the left principal bronchus passes behind the left principal bronchus or main bronchus or primary bronchus okay then it arches over the root of the left lung. Okay. Arches over the root of the left lung. We got the course and relationship of the arch of the aorta. Now we we'll go to the branches of the arch of the aorta. What are the branches? We have just discussed ascending aorta has two branches. One is the left coronary artery, another is the right coronary artery. They are coming out of the ascending aorta. They are not coming out of the arch of the aorta. The coronary arteries will supply the heart. Left coronary artery, right coronary artery. They are coming out of the ascending aorta. But we have the arteries coming out of the arch of the aorta. What are the branches? 
we have three major branches. One is the brachiocephalic trunk, brachiocephalic trunk, also called brachiocephalic artery, brachiocephalic artery. Okay. We have the number two is the left common carotid artery. Left common carotid artery. Number three is the left left subclavian artery. So these are the major branches of the arch of the aorta. So this is the arch of the aorta from here to here. So our first branch is the brachiocephalic trunk. You can put it one. This is the one brachiocephalic trunk. Then the left common carotid artery. You can put two. Then left subclavian artery. You can put it three. Okay, so we got brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery. Brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery. Okay, we got that. Now, we got the left subclavian artery. Where is my right subclavian artery? This brachiocephalic trunk has two division. One is the right common carotid artery here. One is the right common carotid artery, right common carotid artery. Another one is the right subclavian artery, subclavian artery. These are coming out of the brachiocephalic trunk. So, this is the right common carotid artery. You can put it A. You can put it B, the right subclavian artery. We got the major branches of the arch of the aorta. We may get the arteria thyroidia ema artery, arteria thyroidia. Ema artery. Okay. This artery supplies the this artery supplies the isthmus of the thyroid gland. Ema artery or arteria thyroidia ema artery that supplies. So that may also come out of the come out of the arch of the aorta. Okay. Also, we may sometimes on the very rare occasion, very much, very rarely, we may get the vertebral artery. Usually, vertebral artery is a branch of the subclavian artery. So these two, these two are the. This may not be the exactly the main branches of the arch of the aorta. They have different source: artery, thyroid, ema, or vertebral artery. These three are constant, three branches of the arch of the aorta. So we've done the branches of the aorta. Now we'll learn some clinical anatomy. Okay. Clinical anatomy. Again, we have the, we may have chance of aneurysm. Aneurysm may be due to some connective tissue disorder like Marfan syndrome, Ehler Danlos syndrome, or maybe due to tertiary syphilis. Okay, or maybe a part of atherosclerotic process. Okay, aneurysm of this part is possible. Okay, so that is one of the one of the common clinical anatomy of the arch of the 
aorta. We may get a, another term called aortic knuckle. Okay, this is commonly used, this word is commonly used by the radiologist when they take the chest x-ray PA view, arch of the aorta is prominent, it is, it is, it forms the left boundary of the of the mediastinum and it is prominent in the in old age they use the word aortic knuckle okay we got aneurysm aortic knuckle so that's all about the about the anatomy of the arch of the aorta if you like my video please subscribe my channel support my channel share the information with your friends have a nice day bye now